All right, welcome. Many of you, some of you may not know this, and many of you do. This is all like cryptocurrencies. And uh, having been in this field, working in it, having a couple of companies, I get asked a lot, like, I want to I wanna try this out. I want to get into it. Uh, people, I don't know, I hear all about it. What should I do? So all of us that are kind of into this industry, we get asked this all the time. And many of us find it a very hard question to answer. All right, so I've written some of my thoughts about this. And I think I have, for the first time in four years, I have an answer that I want to share. But the answer is complicated. And that's how it should be. Now, I've written some of my thoughts. It's all kind of just in order, but I want to go through this and it's recorded for you. You can go back through, pause, whatever you need to do. You can ask me questions. Um, We can talk about this. Um, So here I say I've refrained giving most people answers in the past because there is no sure bet. And the one I want to share today is not a sure bet. There is only less risk versus more risk. And sometimes, of course, along with that, can often be more reward potential, less reward potential. So, and never telling people, um, as I've not told people in the past, I guess it means that there's no risk for them. I'm not introducing into their life any sort of risk. And so that's kind of our default often as people that are in this field. But also it does mean no reward. And so... Uh, that less potential, um, less potential hard feelings, but no potential really happy and thankful. Thanks, Jarvie, for helping out. Also, I do want to point out this point, that you may have a friend and you may post a bunch and you may like, here, do this, do that. Any crypto person that simply tells you what to do and doesn't explain why or disclose the risk, it means they don't understand why. And they are likely ignorant or, worse, dangerously quiet about the risks they may even know. And that is disingenuous to you. And that's just, it's not good. (laughs) So, I'm going to disclose a lot of things. This is going to be a longer video. And maybe you're just like, no, just shut up and tell me what to do. It's not like, cool, do this. But there's going to be like 20 minutes more of why. And I expect you to go through why and to be educated and to see if you are okay with the potential versus the risks and, and then go find a second opinion or whatever you need to do. Or, you know, the typical thing in crypto world is don't put money that you can't stand with being without. Okay. Um, and then you have to think about how long, um, things take. Okay. So you get that and I'm going to explain the opportunities and explain some of the maths. And this is partly, uh, to help me recognize what I am going to be putting in. Um, even though I already own lots of, uh, lots in this project. Um, it's yeah. So, uh, the thing about this project, Splinterlands, I mean, it's down here, what we're going to talk about, is uh, that there are many working parts to this economy. It is complicated. But, let me explain, that's a great thing. A complicated economy means, well, a simple economies aren't really healthy. They rise and fall so easily. Everyone can go in one similar direction. And it's just like a race upwards and then it's a fall because it's like the last person stand, you know, it's just how fast you got in and then how fast you got out. So those are simple things. So um, it's, it's really great that there are many different ways in this project that people have and will be making uh, money. And I'm going to explain one particular part of it that I'm excited for. And it's actually on January 17th. That's like kind of the go day. All right. So as I say down here, the project is Splinterlands. 
Let's actually go over to Splinter Lands, um, give you a look at it. So this is what's going on. This is a uh, PAX. So it's a game where you uh, go here and you battle and you, you know, play some games and you win some, you lose some. And when you win, you earn a little bit and um, and then you start playing at higher and higher levels and you earn more. I mean, you don't have to play this game. And then you own just a ton of cards, tons and tons of maybe cards, blah, blah, blah. Here's just lots of them, you know, 16 of these, 23 of these, um, 145 of these. Yeah, so that sort of stuff. But we are talking about packs of cards. So in a pack, there are five cards that are yet unknown and this edition of cards is called chaos legion um this will be like the fifth i think at least i'm not sure and um things have mightily changed since the first few editions uh back in july there was maybe ten thousand daily active users now there's all of a sudden four hundred thousand and the team has so much momentum and tons of employees now and tons of ability to increase faster and faster and this is kind of the very first big addition since then and so you buy a pack and there's could be five cards in them but here's the thing the simple thing is you do not have to open these packs you can just keep them as a pack because they have resale potential for example the very last one that sold out in January was being sold for $2 a pack. And now you can see all this action and um, of the price. It's not priced in dollars, just so you know. Um, it's priced in a different currency. But here is the volume, you know, like a thousand packs a day being resold on a secondary market. If people already bought them for $2 and now are selling them for 60 Like I have a decent amount of these. And look, this person... Is willing to sell them for 30 hives so that's like oh quick math 50 dollars 50 something dollars um 50 something high 50s i think anyway so yeah so now they're selling packs for four dollars a piece and on january 17th they will be available for everyone for four dollars a piece and you will not need where it says here vouchers needed you will not need those special items the special tokens that are called vouchers you will not need them on the 17th and so they will just be straight up four dollars and you can go in here and buy credits um, with paypal or crypto um, and before you do that, obviously use my referral code, <laughs> um, uh, which I'll link, obviously. Um, and then I'll I'll take care, of, you know, like I'll help out and do all that sort of stuff. But whatever. Do it regardless of the referral. It's not about the referral, but it is nice. Um, uh, okay. So we've got ourselves, what, 12 days? And you need to be ready on the 16th. And I'm going to explain why this is one of the more sure bets. It's not 100%. One of the more sure bets I've seen in crypto. So if you want to stick around for the math, it's great. If you, um, I don't want you to do this, but if you just want like, no, I'm sold. It's good. I'm going to grab X amount, but I'm still going to be telling you like, what's a good amount. Um, don't just buy like, I don't know. I guess whatever you can do is fine. And one of the crypto sayings is don't put in more than you can lose because, you know, everything can explode. You know, like the whole a lot of them could, you know, all die. I don't know. <laughs> That's so terrible to say. But the company, I don't know what could happen. You know, like things can happen. So you just put in what you are okay with losing out on. And maybe you stretch a little bit so it so it is a little painful or maybe you don't because you are so risk averse. all right um so let's go back to the next thoughts that i wanted to share every edition of pax has gone up um and i told you about 
that the that it's progressing so much more 400,000 active players and that could increase a lot more um and uh, so some of the packs in the past as you can see this is the one that went up the least amount to sixty dollars from two to sixty so that's a 20x one of them went up and this will won't be repeated but it's fun to share the very first one is up at like 380 from two dollars so we're looking at what is that 150x so um and yes i have a decent amount of those okay so i do have a vet i i want to you know share that i have a vested interest because i have one of the most important websites i own that we helped create one of the most important websites in the game it's called peak monsters and it's a place where people can buy cards um use their you know manage their cards buy the cards and rent out their cards to other people making money every day renting them and just all sorts of things bidding on them buying and selling all that sort of stuff so yeah there's vested interest i have a lot of stuff already and so i don't know so take that for what it is but i still um share this with others but i want to tell you how it will likely go down okay so on the 17th the packs are going to be sold they have always like previous editions have taken like a year to sell out but now we're in a different age we're 400,000 daily active users um we it may sell out very fast uh part of me is um let's go back to this like there are you know 1.6 million sold in this pre-sale but on the 17th during the general sale there's going to be another something like 13 million perhaps left to sell are they going to sell out in one single day it is on the table but all, there are other reasons why you want to do that exact day now it may take days weeks or possibly months for the packs to sell out and i want you to know that they may be resold by other people for less than four dollars until the point that they are sold out when they sell out it's a different ball game but for that whole time that they're not sold out um they could go down from the four dollars but i'm still saying and i'll give you the math as to why buying on the 17th for four dollars is the right thing okay um uh, now why packs well you've got the resale potential as you've seen on that one site you can resell them for more you could also open and play or open and rent and each of those things earns little bits of money but times a lot you know lots of cases of that little bits um but another big one is packs give you points that help you participate in a free crypto distribution each day which lasts for one year and there is 200 more days and it has been going for 165 days amazingly well and it's like it's awesome life-changing changed my life okay but um uh and i already mentioned that things will will go down until they're all uh fully sold out but when that sells out things get very fun now let's get to some math let's take one of these numbers here let's take the 500 you could buy any quantity but if you hover over this you can get some bonus packs so we'll go with something that's a substantial investment but not crazy amount for someone just learning about this so we're going to go for 500 packs now 500 times four is is two thousand dollars okay so it's not a small investment not a huge one but um and let's keep in number mind this number 15 percent more bonus packs okay now right now you need this token called a voucher um, but on the 17th you will only need vouchers for that 15 percent so let's go to this um 
500 times 0.15, okay? So you may want to have 75 of those vouchers, all right? Now it's a token and it could be complicated to get. You can ask me um, if you have crypto, it'll be very easy to get, but we'll go in here. Well, not super duper easy, but they're going for about 255. So let's do a little bit of the math and maybe you're tuning out on this part. But if we have, if we need 75 of them and they're going for, um, sorry, this is where I'm doing it. 500 packs is $2,000, but you can get 75 extra packs for about 275 a piece or 250. Let's say it's a, uh, say 250, a $3 a piece. And then let's say, you know, that average between 250 and $3 is 275. So let's say 206. That means for 2,206, you could get 575 packs. So that means 383. So now do you understand why people may sell for a little bit below $4? Because it's simple to buy them at 383 and hope to sell them at 390 and it's a sure bet, but then other people may sell for a little bit less because of some other reasons. So let's go over the other reasons. This is a fun reason. Um, I should title this one, but um, I can just talk about it. There are these things called airdrops. Now, one of them already happened. Two of them are happening right now, but then four through 14 are for anyone that gets on the 17th. Four through seven. So these are a pack that you will get. For example, if you buy 500 packs, then you, yeah, I know it says that I've bought 5,000. Um, then you are assured to get at least one of each of these. And it may be more, but we're being conservative. You'll get one of each of these. And six of these, we already know, are some of the most expensive ones in all the game. Now, let's look at the last edition. And they are called um, Legendary Summoners. And um, let's go to a different view. We'll go to the grid view so you can see them big. And the cheapest ones from that last time were like $120 a piece. Now... There are much more quantity, so supply and demand. Let's say they're closer to um, what some of these legendaries are. Uh, six, ten. Let's go to a legendary summoner here. Oops. Let's do this. Okay. $27. So let's say, um, let's say somewhere between around this... And then when the packs all sell out, this goes up a lot. So that's the issue is you're looking at it at 30. But I mean, if you look at the old ones at 120, and I know I didn't stay on there very long. I should go back to that. But we're seeing 500, 500, 220. So to, to, for me to say 50 a piece is pretty doable. So back to this, you bought your 500 packs and six of these rewards will be worth 50 a piece. And maybe the other five are worth like 20 a piece on average. I think that may even be high, but the other one was low. So let's just say you've got $400 of, dollars of cards that you will be getting because you jumped in on the 17th. All right, so now... Um, did I do math here somewhere? Let me highlight it if I did. Yes. So take the 2,206, remove $400 for 575 packs. That means you're looking at anything above $3.14 a pack is probably good. So while the cards aren't sold out and people can still continue to buy them, you may see prices down in the $3. But again, you get them on January 17th, because you get all those um, extra airdrop packs. 
unless of course people start reselling them for crazy low, like in the $2 range. So, all right. So, um, when they sell out, things go up. So we can think, well, you know, maybe they'll only go up instead of 20 X, like every other edition, maybe just two X, you know, we don't have to wish on some crazy thing, maybe just two X. So if that's exciting, then great. I obviously a 10 X is what a lot of us are hoping for on the packs, but a lot of people are going to buy the packs, open them, play them, play them at high levels, play in big tournaments, do this stuff. It's not an easy game to play. I must uh, warn you, like it takes a lot of strategy, a lot of time, and sometimes a lot of cards and um, a lot of research on how to be good and stuff like that. So it's not like, I'm going to have my little kid play this. Um, that could be hard. All right. Bonus perk. Um, this is a big one. This is bigger than the other one. For 200 days, if you have 575 packs, you will have 172,500 of something which is called an airdrop point. Each day, there is this token right here that is distributed to um, that is distributed to players based on the stuff that they own. Okay. Um, so uh, each pack, you're going to get 300 of them. So let's say you have the 575. That's 172,000. And I've done the math and some guesstimates. Okay. So the math I'm thinking is, well, this is an exact math. This is not a guess. 172,500 is exact. Assuming you don't open any, then it changes the math based on what you had in there when you opened it. So if the global total goes from 10 billion global points to let's say 14 billion um, on average that means you could get and maybe it starts at 12 and it ends at 16 let's say the average is 14 billion you could get about 12 of those tokens a day and that's for 200 days and the price of that token has ranged from 17 cents to one dollar and so that'll be for 200 days but that is 200 times the 12.32, we're looking at 2,464. So that's something like 400 to $2,400. And, you know, this is part of me just being very involved and in understanding what's going on. Their team has gotten so much bigger and better, and they have such big, huge, exciting ideas and things that they're well on the way to creating and building and and connections and working with they're one of the the largest blockchain projects in the world like my projects are high on that list they are levels above um and they are they have more daily active accounts doing stuff on their project than as some days any other project in the world period um and the other days, they're usually second place. So um, uh, that's where we that's where we stand with that. So that that the point of that is is like it could go down the price of that. It could go down. It could go up. But this is like a bonus perk. This is four hundred to potentially two thousand to potentially more than that. Um, that's the speculation part that I can't tell you where that is going to be but you know let's say it's 400 extra let's say it's 2400 extra that's all the money back but that is means like a longer play each day will be a little bit but if we're looking at the 200 days and then the sps that you do get um maybe that benefit has benefits there is a 40 percent apr on that it grows by holding it staking it i know there are obviously some things in this message that you may not have understood um and that's fine and you'll research you'll ask questions you'll look into it you'll listen to some other uh youtubers or something like that and you'll get some uh solid ideas on it so 
Um, uh, now I want to show a couple of caveats. Let's go back here. You do the 2000 packs and you have this little extra bonus option. Um, trade vouchers, um, like these vouchers are presently being purchased at 250, but there's a possibility that they go up above $4 on the 17th. And therefore there is no benefits to getting the bonus to buying vouchers to get bonus packs. No benefit to buying vouchers to get bonus packs. There's many of us that just get the vouchers because of things that we've done and things that we've invested. Um, but for you to buy them, uh, there's no benefit. But if they're below $4, then, you know, it saves you a little bit on some extra packs. Okay. That's one thing I wanted to mention. And this, this sort of stuff and buy, sell stuff is complicated. I know. But what's not complicated, really, is to come in here, buy these credits, and be ready by the 16th, so that on the 17th, you can use those credits to buy packs at $4. And you can ignore the bonuses there. They do give you a discount, of course. But it's not a very, it's not huge, right? It's, you're, you're paying $2.50 instead of $4. So, um that's a discount on some things. Um, okay, so I, I know there are questions and I wanted to share kind of the basics of, of some of the math uh, that I see and um, speculation. There's plenty of speculation as well. Um, some of the risks are Obviously that, I mean, their project gets totally hacked or, or, you know, like something, they didn't do something well with security and something happened or um, they make a really bad decision and they've made so many good ones, but all of a sudden they make some really bad one where they get in big trouble with the law. Um, but none of us foresee these things but you have to, to understand all those things are risks. Just like if you were to invest in a stock and that company did bad things or that company had someone absconded with a lot of money or, or they got in trouble with the law. So it's, it's, um, there's things like that. Uh, and there's risks. And there could be the risk that the packs just seem to never get sold out. Eh, they're going to get sold out. I'm not worried about that um, at all. But um, it could, I mean, I guess like things go downhill and people start selling stuff off at a loss. That's a risk. And they're like, I know that maybe in, I don't know, there's that like follow the pack sort of mentality. Right now everyone's following the pack into the project. There could be that like, we're all going to leave because of some stupid decisions that they're all making, but everything seems to be very good. So I kind of want to just go over so many of these things in the, in the economy and how it all works and why it works and how it's so interesting. But I know I bore you and, and I don't know how interested in all that you really are, but I think I'm going to pause the video, make sure it's a good video. And, um, and share it and see what you guys think. No, I think that's what I want you to know. Uh, just to recap that, uh, the numbers I have here are rough numbers. They're guesstimates, um, that things can change. And, uh, you know, that means they can change for even the better. Uh, I want you to know that the 17th really is worth it to get it that day as opposed to waiting because, well, here's the thing, all these airdrops, uh, there are going to be, you can get all of these ones if you jump in on the 17th. But if you don't, then you will miss several of these, probably four or five of them at a minimum. Um, and in each one of those cards is that potential, you know, let's say you bought 500 packs, and that's, you know, 
$30, $200, $100, $10, $10, you know, like all that sort of potential. Um, now, obviously, if you do the 2,000 packs, you would get multiple of each of these. But all right. So I, that's, that's what I want to share. Um, getting money into Splinterlands, I haven't really had to do that a ton. I do actually have helped people. Uh, get some of what they need um, from USD and they don't know how to do the crypto trading stuff. But uh, when you go in here and you use PayPal and or use a credit card, like that's up to your bank or your or PayPal or and the credit card, like how much they're willing to let you put into this game. It's, you know, that's traditional finances there. They can be sticklers on stuff like that. So you may want to check now to see if it's even, like, see how that will go. Don't delay. Don't wait till the 16th or the 17th. Um, that sort of thing. So um, be prepared and uh, let me know how it's going. And uh, and I'll be able to follow your progress if you use my referral code. That's how I follow what my friends have been doing. So, uh, And regardless, this, this off offer is still open. Jump in, create a new account, put the account Jarvie in as a referral, and I will just simply send you money. Like, and then you buy the, what's called the, um, it's the starter something summoner spell book for $10. And that gives you the ability to create a login. That login will be usable on my site, on both of my projects and on Splinterlands. And um, I've been telling people, I'll send you back way, you know, multiple times what the $10 that you spent because uh, it was a Christmas present and I'm, I'm keeping it up for a little while. So take me up at least on that option. You could at least 2X your $10 investment. So that's my, that's my spiel. Um, and it's, it hasn't been easy for me to like sit down and say, yes, this is my first recommendation slam dunk, slam dunk as I know, but it's also been fun to share. I hope you enjoy it.